Hong Kong. Not many people think that we can find coral here, but Hong Kong has about 84 species of coral and over 300 fish species in coral areas. Coral reefs are one of our planet's greatest natural attractions. These gardens need regular monitoring and protection from the hazards of an urban environment. That's where Reef Check comes in. Reef Check, is, as the name implies, it checks the reef. But it's not only the reef, it's also about the coral, the fish and also the invertebrates. It aims to do four things, um, including monitoring, um, data analysis, and also education and increase the public awareness. For example, we collect the data on the fish and on the abundance and species diversity of the areas. And then we analyze the data and then biologically we can understand the area by looking at some indicator species to tell you about the general idea, how's the health of the coral areas. And luckily, at the moment, we have more than 80 countries globally in the world are doing the reef check. So by collecting all the data together, we can compare the data between areas and we can understand more about the coral areas. Are they really good? Are they healthy or not? Uh, current state of the reefs, that's, uh, it's an excellent question. The honest answer is we don't know. The problem is over many, many years there hasn't been really enough work done to get baseline data. Um, we could perhaps guess due to the, perhaps the developments and the projects that are going on around Hong Kong that the health of the reef is, is not good. But then again, from a scientific point of view, we can't really answer that question until we can get some baseline data that we can compare. Coral in Hong Kong do not have a true reef structure. They are normally scattered along the coasts. Hong Kong is one of the northernmost places where corals are known to flourish. It is located at the northern edge of the tropical Indo-Pacific region and experiences subtropical climates. Here's a comparison of marine life in Hong Kong and the Philippines. Some species of coral can grow only one centimeter per year and you can destroy it within a few seconds by disturbing it. But what is the main cause of reef destruction in Hong Kong? The destruction to reefs um, can be done by physical destruction, can be done by sedimentation, dredging and direct chemical pollution or uh, other forms of pollution. And the most important issues or something that we can't see maybe is actually affecting the corals are climate change and also overfishing. However, many people depend on the marine ecosystems for their daily lives. Hong Kong is a very large fishing community. Actually in the world, um, more than a million of people are actually depending on the coral areas to live. For example, all their protein sources is the fish are actually caught from the coral areas. So they are actually live depending, their life is actually depending upon or entirely on the coral areas. There are many solutions to the problems facing the reefs in Hong Kong. The AFCD, which is the Agricultural Fisheries and Conservation Department, has in place a series of measures and programs to protect the marine ecosystems. There are about five marine parks and marine reserves in Hong Kong, and numerous no anchoring zones. But what can we do? For me personally, it's, it's awareness. Um, I think public awareness, I think lobbying the government, lobbying um, agencies, supporting agencies, and secondly I think just in the way that we sort of live our lives, that we are trying to live a sustainable life, that we're not contributing to pollution or we're looking for areas where we might be, might be contributing to pollution. So 
the public can do, for example, for the non-diver, we can actually do things like um, following the seafood guy, WWF seafood guy, and then to buy the sustainable seafood and choose wisely on their seafood, on their seafood consumption, and also help to tackle the problem with overfishing. And then also, they can involve in local conservation programs and a lot of things. And then start from a little things. And then of course, join the reef check programs. And if you say you're not the diver, you can actually well, be active to involve in a lot of marine, local marine conservation programs. Like the international coastal cleanup activities, like collecting the garbage from the beach and also sending data to compare with the other countries. And also a lot of like NGO, like WWF, Greenpeace, they have a lot of campaigns on the oceans. And also for the divers, of course, they can do the reef checks, understand more about the local marine environment, and then they will start understand and building up the passions and to protect them. I believe if we understand something deeply, we can start building up passions. And if we have passion, we can actually start protecting them. So I would say, understand more the threats, the marine biology aspects of our ocean and all the situations. So and then start building up the passions and then start protecting the marine environment. Mm -hmm.